Alright, so I'm gonna take it off now. Turumasuyo! Yosh! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another haul video for you guys today. So everything was shipped to me from Osaka and looks like this. This video is also in collaboration with Zen Market. Zen Market is a shopping agent to help you buy stuff off of Japanese websites. And this is especially good if you do not speak Japanese. I will explain a little bit more about them later on. So this is my box. So I've taped out my particulars with Nandake. Washi tape. So the first thing that I got is Nandake. Dog mask. These are sheet masks that look like dogs basically. Nandake Shibai no ka? Nan yo ne. Dalmenshin iru. Shibai there's one, two, and three, and there's gonna be a mystery mask. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close my eyes and get one. I'm gonna get this one. Oh, I've got the Dalmatian. That is not what a sheet mask should smell like. It smells like vanilla ice cream. Let's get my hair out of the way first. It's gonna do a half ponytail. Let's do it. By the way, I'm not wearing any foundation, guys. I have a little bit of concealer underneath my eye, but I don't think that matters. Ooh, that's cold. Ah! Ooh, feels really nice. How is it? Just a massage, just a ne. Kinda clean in the chair. Ah, 20 minutes. Over. Alright, so I'm gonna take it off now. Turn it off. Yosh. But hello. My skin is definitely hydrated. That's for sure. It actually, feels really, really good. I love it. No, my hair is wet. Next, I have this one. I don't smoke, I don't vape either. So I got this because I've read a lot about aromatherapy, but I actually got it for fun because I just wanted to try it out. So I'm gonna try it out right now on camera. Now this one is in the rose and mint flavor. Let's give it a try then. So it comes in a little tube like this, and it is very, very pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is also a little bit heavy, so I quite like that. First things first, I'm gonna pop these things off. So at one side you have just the end, and at the other side you have this. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells like really, really sweet rose. I'm just gonna go over it. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. If only you guys could smell that. Ooh, it actually lingers in your mouth for a little while. It doesn't actually taste like rose or mint, which is what it's supposed to taste like. Let's give it one more try. It actually feels a lot better if you breathe it out through your nose. I actually quite like this. I might actually get more of these. It's pretty, it's cool and it's, it looks really pretty. Um, the next thing that I got is this. This is um, an edible matcha cup. Right, so this entire ocha cup, it is completely edible, I think. I can't go. Oh, did you guys hear that? I can't believe it. Look how big that is. That is insane. Mmm. Wow. Oh, hard. That's what she said. So the next thing that I got is a lip candy. And I got this one called Sweet Lip. So what's special about this is that it looks exactly like a lip gloss. So I have got a lip gloss. This one is from Maybelline. This is an actual lip gloss from Maybelline. Look at that, guys. Look how similar that is. Like, shut. Up. I'm guessing that you apply this as a lip gloss and then just lick it off. Though, it's fucking sweet. <laughs> it does not taste like apples. It actually tastes a lot more like honey. Mmm. It tastes very natural actually. I quite like this. I might do it again. It doesn't really give you glow in your lips. Oh, it does. It's just a little bit. It goes away after a while. So the next thing that I got is a really pretty blue gem. Number one selling product on this really popular Japanese website. And I was like, why the hell is it so popular? It's just like gem. And apparently it's supposed to be really pretty and really good tasting. So today, I'm going to test it out. Apparently you can use this to make a hell lot of other recipes as well. You can make like yogurt out of this, waffles and pancakes and stuff, and I was just completely blown away. But today I'm only gonna be giving it a taste test. So I've got a plate, cut the bread into a heart shape so it looks cuter. So 
So first things first, it's very pretty. The color is just... Well, blue is my favorite color, so I might be a bit biased to it. Ugh. Come on. Oh, did it. It does not smell sweet, that's one thing. It smells very... It smells like apples. It smells so refreshing. So it's got a little bit of blue jam on it. Itadakimasu! Alright, you know what? This is going to be my favorite jam of all time now. And I don't even like sweet stuff. This is amazing. Mmm. -hmm. The good thing is it doesn't taste artificial. That's so weird. It just tastes like really, really sweet apples. But it doesn't taste very sugary. Mm-hmm. So I got the same thing as well, but this time it's in, in like a tea bag form. Just like the other one, they can be used to make a lot of different things as well. So I am going to be doing a recipe video using this tea bag and this jam right here. So stay tuned for that. I am going to try out just one package just to see what it tastes like. Got my teapot here just with really nice lukewarm water. Next, we're gonna pop this in. So we're gonna open it first. So it looks like a regular tea bag, so nothing special about it. Except that it's chiffon, so like what the fuck, that's high quality. Let's dump this in. Oh, immediately you can see it's starting to turn blue. While that sits, I'm gonna do something else. So I was on the official Studio Ghibli website, and I initially wanted to get something uh, from Spirited Away, but they don't have anything that, you know, I can use every day. So I decided to get a merchandise from my second favorite Studio Ghibli movie ever, Totoro. They have a free Totoro plastic bag, Makurosuke. And I got a Totoro mug! How pretty is that? Now they have a lot of different designs, but I think this one is the cutest one and it matches my personality a lot, especially this Totoro right here. Oh my god, it's fucking adorable. And it's a pretty good size as well. So it can hold quite a large volume of water. So can you guys see that now? Look at that! Alright, so it has turned the water completely blue. It's what I'm gonna just smell. It doesn't smell like much. It smells a little bit like herbs. Look how pretty the tea bag has become. The flowers or the tea leaves have actually turned blue as well. It's so pretty. I'm actually gonna pour this into my tutorial mug. I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty my cup is, guys. Alright, guys, let's taste it. Tastes like water. You can put lime in it and it turns purple. So there's so many things that you can do with it, which I'm actually gonna try out in another video. I've also heard that if you put the jam into the tea, it's gonna taste good. So taking teeny tiny spoonful of that, let's mix it in. Mmm. It doesn't taste bad, it just tastes like a very mild version of a tea. The last and final item that I got, I think a lot of you guys might know this, but it's just a packet of poppin' cookins. And um, I've actually tried it out before, but I don't think I remember how to do it anymore. The last time I did this was when I was really, really young. So I was like bloody like 11 years old. So it's been a while. I might do a video where I try to make this. So tell me if you guys want that. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to make the yeast. I actually want to make it right now but I will save it for the video so I'm not gonna open it right now so, alright guys that's all for today's video so, I hope you guys liked it do check out Zen Market's service their service is absolutely amazing and I'm not just saying this because they contacted me and asked me to review this but I generally think that this is a really good option if you guys do not speak Japanese and you guys want to buy things from Japan anime figurines Japanese skincare Japanese clothing Japanese fashion this is amazing because a lot of countries don't have Japanese retail stores or makeup brands and a lot of these you have to purchase online and they're really really quick when it comes to replying to emails so I really like that I really hate people who do not reply to my emails and for those of you who are wondering I do have a couple of videos left that I've taken previously from my exchange program but that's gonna take a little while for me to edit them so while I'm editing those videos I hope you guys also enjoy this kind of um, 
Japanese haul videos or just random stuff that I decided to film. But that is all for today. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Tell me what other kind of videos you guys want me to do in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And Twitter, I've started to use Twitter a little bit more often now. So follow me there if you guys want to know what I'm going to be doing. Tweet me something, I might reply to you. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! Drink, swa la la la. Drink, swa la la la.